What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another rad movie review. Today we're going to be talking about Love and Monsters, the new creature feature. Stay tuned. Non-spoiler review. Roll it. So, Love and Monsters, the new creature feature starring Dylan O'Brien and Michael Rooker, taking place in a post-apocalyptic monster taken over world where humans are no longer the top of the food chain and we are now hiding in tunnels and bunkers all over the world. 95% of the human population has been annihilated by these giant amphibians and insects and everything. And we follow our main character who's played by Dylan O'Brien. And it's definitely a good like character development growth film because it focuses just mainly on him and his journey and everything he's a character who wants to aspire to be the hero and he believes in true love and like just he believes in like all these amazing things but he has problems freezing so that's his main like kind of issue in the film but he has to take an 85 mile journey across the surface to find the woman of his love amy who is in another colony and we just get some really good character development as he crosses across the 85 miles and everything we meet some amazing characters some of the best characters in this film aren't even humans we get an ai character that i really appreciated i like android ai characters and this one served the film very well we also get a dog character that is very well trained and had some really great scenes with dylan o'brien where they bonded i really appreciated those scenes and Dylan O'Brien's a great actor. If you haven't seen him, he's in a TV show way back in the day called Teen Wolf, which was very early in his career, but you can tell he was going to be a good actor. Then he did this movie called American Assassin. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you see it. He's great in that film, definitely for sure. But just his character growth and the bond he had with the characters that he met along the journey were amazing. Also, the creature design I really liked for sure. I'm not a huge fan of CGI, but the creature design in this film was amazing for sure. Definitely awesome to look at and cool action sequences. Pretty much the only quarrel that I do have with this film is the last third of the film when we get to the other colony and everything. It's like, it's. I know it serves a purpose and I like his growth throughout the film and I like the ending, like where he ends up being and stuff as a character. But the last third of the film where we get an insertion of some kind of wacky villains and everything, I didn't really need them in the film. I didn't even want that story arc, but they kind of just get inserted into the last part of the film and everything. So I didn't really need that. But overall, it was still a really good film. Michael Rucker always brings it. If you know him from Walking Dead, his character was amazing in this and the girl that he had along with him. They have amazing scenes with Dylan as well. They kind of teach him how to survive and do all these amazing things and what is about the surface because he's never really been up there and all that kind of stuff. But it's a really good family film as well. Like you could definitely sit down with your family and enjoy this film and everything and have some popcorn. It has a good family fun vibe, kind of like Jumanji and everything. But pretty much I liked everything about the film. It's like I said, except for the last third of the film. It kind of killed it for me, that last third of the film, the mood, the vibe. I was just like, ah, like the route it went. But I do like the character growths and the characters in the film, creature design and all that kind of stuff and everything. So overall, in my book, this movie is going to get an 8 out of 10 and everything. Definitely a rent for sure. Sit down and enjoy it with your family and stuff. Good little fun movie to sit down and enjoy. Have some popcorn and everything. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the review. Hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date on videos I post, reviews, and all kinds of other stuff and everything. And definitely leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think and all this stuff. I'd love to hear from you. Hit me up on Discord. I'm always there. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace out.